Hello and welcome to Carless. In this video I will go through uh, a new app that's being released to the Polestar 2 and that's a better route planner. So I've just downloaded it so let's go through and open it up. So if you use a, a better route planner before you will find it quite familiar. Um, it looks like just in the app or, or or on the web. What's interesting is that you actually get some stats from from the car itself. So down here you can see that the current state of charge. Let's try to click that. And we can see that it's connected to live data. It's the state of charge. It actually knows where we are of course. So when you download it, you have to accept some permissions, and that's location data and um, access to, to data from, from the car. What's interesting here is that it actually says calibrated reference consumption. So I don't know if that is the reference consumption of my particular car, or if it's the the general being used by a better route planner. You can also see that it's picked up the outside temperature from, from the car, I guess. And one thing that I also saw while I was charging is that you will get the charging rate in kilowatt. Uh, so you know in the instrument class on the Polestar 2 you can only see it as kilometers per hour. A better route planner has actually implemented so you can see the, the, the kilow kilowatt charging speed. And that's great. You can actually see it in the app also, so it pulls the data from the car. But as I read online, when as soon as the, the car shuts down, uh, that link will be broken. So, hoping that uh, there will be some kind of feature in the future where it keeps the uh, the car sort of keeps the car from going to sleep while charging, because a better route planner has sort of notifications for okay, so the the car has finished charging now and so on. So this will be a, a very useful app uh, when you go on trips. Yesterday I tried to use it as a navigation app and it's really bad at that. It actually froze on me a couple of times and the actual directions were, were really, really bad. But as a planning tool for when you're going on, on trips, that will be uh, yeah very useful, I think. So I haven't got the, the premium account for a better route planner, but there you will supposed to get sort of my drives and so on. Um, I haven't really figured out when the car decides to shut down the app, because my use case would be that I would use Google Maps as the as a navigator and just a better route planner for, for stats. But I don't know if I would like to go into a better route planner all the time and sort of start new new trips. So I hope that can be sorted out. Um, maybe connected to the sort of automated trip uh, meter or, or something like that. Okay, so I will go through some of the settings as well. So let's click here and go into settings. So first, use live state of charge, calibrated reference consumption, weather and traffic. So let's tick that. Uh, as you can see, these sort of slides are really small and at first I didn't know you could actually press them, but you can. Um, it will use your current departure state of charge for w when you do the, the, the trip. It will use the reference consumption. Uh, here you can, of course, go through your sort of uh, regular about a route planner settings for destination, state of charge, uh, charges, state of charge, and so on. 
You can use real traffic data and so on and road conditions, put in extra weights, um, etc, etc. What I found interesting is that the reference consumption is very low. And I think this is uh, from the from the web page as well. Uh, it, it's it's much higher in, in real life. So so far, uh, a great addition. There are some bugs, and it does sort of uh, lose connection and everything like that. But it will be very interesting to see how how this app. Evolves, and I mean, it is one of the most used apps for for new EV owners, and essential when you're going on on a long trip. Okay, so that was everything from me. Hope you enjoy the video, and uh, and see you next time. Bye.